Greetings, everyone. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Porch Talk. Got some interesting things to talk about. Trump has lost his mind once again. So, mm -hmm. in the shade room, because, you know, the shade room always has some interesting topics. Mm -hmm. They seem to capture all the mind-blowing moments well, so their team is doing a good job. Shout out to the shade room. Here it is. Trump wants U.S. to consider the death penalty for drug dealers. Really? Hmm. So, just to give you a little background, I'm going to read the story here. The Trump administration is looking into getting the death penalty for drug dealers. Donnie has been very vocal lately about his desire to execute convicted drug dealers. And now, according to the Washington Post, the Department of Justice and the White House Domestic Policy Council are studying how to make a new policy allowing just that work. I think it's a discussion we have to start thinking about. I don't know if we're ready. I don't know if this country is ready for it, Trump said during a rally today. He went on to explain how people convicted of just one murder can get the death penalty. However, some dealers can kill 5,000 people with drugs because you're smuggling them and you're making a lot of money and people are dying, but they go without similar punishment. That's why we have a problem, folks. I don't think we should play games, he said. Now, I never did polling on that. I don't know if that's popular. I don't know if that's unpopular. But these people are killing our kids and they're killing our families and we have to do something. Here's the thing I find very interesting and I want to clarify this article did not come out today. It said the word today in the article. Um, because at the time, obviously, it came on in the day that it was relevant. But here's the thing. I think it's very interesting that he wants to give drug dealers the death penalty, seeing as how it's a known fact that the government has had dealings with drug dealing themselves. So are we going to give the whole judicial system and government system the death penalty? And I don't even understand why this is a focal point, seeing as all the corruption and the issues and problems in America. And it sure is not drug dealers, okay? If anything, a lot of people are dealing drugs because of the simple fact that they feel that they can't get anywhere else doing anything else. It, they could be having prior convictions or whatever the reason that they have. We, we all know there's litany of issues. We all probably know somebody who does it and everybody's not big time, but I just think that's a bit drastic to give the death penalty for something like dealing drugs. I think all drug dealers that are locked up now should be left out because they're not the problem. You can't, okay, so they're dealing the drugs, yes, but people are buying them. And then Another thing, should we give pharmaceutical sales rep um, the death penalty? I mean, because oxycodone, you're giving people Dilaudid in the hospital, the morphine, the Percocets, the Adderall that is now, they're coming out saying that it is meth. So I think it's just a really slippery slope. I feel like when Uncle Donnie here, not my uncle, somebody's. <laughs> I feel like when the orange man is coming forward saying this ignorant shit, it's like he needs, he's holding up a mirror again back at the government and he needs to understand that because there's so many things going on. And that's just to me not relevant. It, it's not a problem because if you're going to get again the drug dealers, the death penalty, then like I said, it's a slippery slope. Then, then hang the pharmaceutical sales rep, hang the pharmaceutical companies, hang the hospitals, hang the doctor. I mean, it can go on and on and on and on and on. But you don't want to do that. You want to take the drugs off the street or pretend that you're doing it in this constant drug war that employs so many people that keeps money in the judges' pockets, the attorneys' pockets, the police stations' pockets. I mean, it's, it goes on and on. So let, let's stop playing these games. I'm just really sick of the president that sits in the seat right now throwing us over here and every there you, you let me put you on this trail let me throw you over here pay attention to that and pay attention to yeah. be a president yeah. do something that matters yeah. do something that's going to help us and if you don't want to do the job if you can't do the job sit your ass down and let somebody who's willing to do it as far as i'm concerned and i'm very serious in saying this i feel like the whole government all locals all even in washington they need to go and we need new people in because even those that are good have sure have been corrupted by the ones that are bad because hey you know they get to threaten you hey you you oh you want to opt you you want to you want to you know <laughs> you, you got to be down you want to opt 
yo. Yeah, you know, you a op, you know what I'm saying? You a op and all that shit. I'm not saying they talk like that, but I'm just mm. illustrating to you how these things yeah. go. When we watch, and I think people really need to understand this too, and then I'm gonna let Kermit speak because I'm going on and on and on. But these movies that we watch and these TV shows that we watch, they're dropping jewels all the time. And I know it's it gets biased because, and it's allowed to be on air because for all intents and purposes, they label it as fiction. You know, so you can't prove it is really gone, but shows like Scandal, How to yes. Get Away with Murder, mm -hmm. a lot of sci-fi movies, a lot of these things are showing you Have what's truth. going on. It has a lot of truth and validity to it. There's so many more issues. And our government is a joke. This country is a joke. And I'm sure it's going to be somebody that gets on here and wants to go off on me and be a troll, and that's fine. I'll just block you. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um, oh because at the end of the day, this is freedom of speech. I have the right, so they say, even though that's not true as well. That's why I say our government is a joke. Because if it's freedom of speech, it's free. It can't be control. You can, it can't be freedom with conditions. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like people want to say God gave us free will, but then you slap a religion. Well, which one right. is it? Exactly. Do we have free will or, or are we going by religion? Exactly. But that's another conversation for another day. You know, I always got to pop. I always got to throw something <laughs> to make you think. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Kermit. I agree. I agree with the fact that putting the death penalty on drug dealers is not going to change for one, anything, the epidemic in America at all with drugs and drug addicts, that won't change anything. While, let me be clear, I'm not condoning the actions of people selling drugs and people buying drugs, I'm not condoning that at all. What I am saying is that putting the death penalty, which is very harsh on people who sell drugs, that I think that's taking it way too far. The thing with it is that if you're going to do something like that, then you have to apply that to many different areas. As Raquel was saying, you have people who go into the hospital and have surgery and come out hooked on Vicodin and Narc. What was the other one? Um, the the lotted, All of that stuff. I mean, you have people who get hooked on all of these Norco. strong nor nor Norcos. Yep. You have people who get hooked on all of these strong Purposes. drugs. Purposes. You have people who get hooked on all of these strong drugs. And this is something that they did not get off the street. This is something that they were prescribed by licensed physicians. So you have to be kind of careful with that. And plus you have pain doctors and all of that stuff who are well, definitely not assessing pain. I have uh, quite a few family members who go to pain doctors and a lot of these doctors are giving their patients what they want and sending them right out the door because that's how they make their money. They should be assessing where their pain level is at and if they even still need those medications. A lot of times that's not happening. So you have to be very careful with what you're saying with saying that drug dealers are going to get the death penalty and all of that. I just think that it's way more huge issues in America than drug dealers themselves. I think that there are much bigger issues that we need to tackle. There's bigger issues that uh, as a president you should be worried about. I think that drug dealing would leave that to law enforcement and all of that stuff. That's something that you shouldn't even be trying to tackle in because you clearly have no idea of what's going on out here with that situation for you to say something like that. So I just think that Trump, I just really hope that the president realizes that he has bigger issues on his hands and he should tackle those issues. Mm -hmm. Sounds um, like he got a lot of pussy on his yeah. hands because he likes to grab about the pussy. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not a uh, Trump supporter and all of that stuff, but I just, you have the job now, and I just wish that you do something with it, regardless of if we support you or not. You're, you're the president. Do something meaningful with the job, regardless of whoever chose you, whoever voted for you, and whoever didn't cares for you or not. Now you have the job, so do something with it. Because regardless of anything, you take that job for the people. And so do something with that position. I don't know, I just I just think that this is absurd. Drug dealers getting the death penalty. That's way too far. Way, way too far. My issue is 
more so and we're seeing change i've talked about this in other videos we're seeing change right in front of our faces slowly but surely i think what's really bugging me is i'm tired of deflection yeah. this country is very big on deflection mm -hmm. let's get to the heart of it uh, the government is supposed to be for the people yeah and that's not what it's about yeah. the media is not for the people yeah. the government's not for the people everything is controlled and geared to a narrative that they want to push and want you to believe uh, quite honestly and i'm not minimizing no crime or no issues that go on in the world but the biggest fear in the world is what we see on tv is yeah. what they're constantly pumping in our brains i mean because when i'm driving to the grocery store and stuff like that i'm you know i'm looking around i'm i'm alert but i've never really had a big issue and I, mm -hmm. i'm very aware that danger is out there yeah, don't get me wrong definitely. but what i'm saying is it's not about whether it's true or not it's about your mind your mm -hmm. mind you if you're focused on trauma and issues all day mm -hmm. you can become severely paranoid Absolutely. and i just feel like this country has it needs to stop it needs yeah. to stop with the lies it needs to stop with the deception and I think it's time for now for the people to call for action. Yeah. We, we want justice. We want a country and a government that works well. If not, then let us govern ourselves. Absolutely. Because you're not, you're not doing what we need you to do. Yeah. The government prioritizes what's important to them. Yeah. And, and not to the people. It's very unfortunate. And it's not until we act a fool and we voice our discontent. And, and we become disgruntled that they actually do something. Yeah. And even then, a lot of times, it's the bare minimum. Yeah. So I'm just really tired of that. And I just want to leave you guys with that. Really get to thinking about that. Start realizing and open your eyes and become awake to us. A lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah. And we definitely. want to see. We're seeing the world now through tinted windows. Think yeah. about it. The police don't even want to. They want to give you a ticket if you got yeah. tinted windows. So yeah. why should we live our lives content? We should live life in trance. Parency. Yeah. Now I understand every little single idiot secrecy can't be shared because of the simple fact it can incite panic. Mm -hmm. I get that. But for the most part, everything shouldn't be a lie. Everything shouldn't be fixated to where it supports the narrative of what they are comfortable with us knowing. Okay. So I just wanted to leave y'all with that. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Poor Shot. Catch you next time. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.